man. 300 pieces. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so glad I'm still recording right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> What up, YouTube? Welcome back to another 120 volts unboxing. With you, as always, FGC Ryan V, my wife, Miss Reach, behind the camera. Hey, hey, hey. Today, we have an awesome unboxing today. I'm super, super excited for this. You already know what it is it is the split frame arcade shock Ryu fight stick bag, okay? This thing is going to help me travel to all of my locals at Platinum City Gaming, located in Taunton, Massachusetts. Or maybe if I want to go fool around at round one, who knows? Bring this thing anywhere. Or maybe, I don't know, like majors that I've uh, tended to like defend the north or, you know, like some Red Bull Battlegrounds or even the ESL Street Fighter tournament that we'll be going to in Brooklyn. Brooklyn Beatdown! Brooklyn Beatdown! All right, so we ordered this at Defend the North while at the hotel, okay? Miss Reach was basically right on it and just kind of saw that this was about to come out and said, hey, guess what? Look what I just ordered you, and it's cool as fuck. Coolest thing about this, other than what it is and how beautiful and gorgeous it is, which you can see on the, the cover photo, or if you're going to order it yourself, at ArcadeShock.com. That's the only way you can get this bag, by the way, is at ArcadeShock.com. It is in stock. It came in stock an entire month early. We were not expecting this thing until the end of September. So everyone is super, super happy that this came in early, including myself. Whoa, there's a piece of it. And, oh, here we go. Ready, everybody? Oh, yeah. That plastic wrap. Uh -huh. Ooh, arcade shot. Know. Mm, nice tight packaging. Oh, oh my it's beautiful. god. So it is like perfectly fit for that. Yeah, literally. That is incredible. Receipt for the Arcade Shock. Ooh, Ryu Fight Stick Traveling Controller Arcade Shock Street Fighter version 2. That's right, it's another thing I should mention. This is version 2 of this bag, okay? I want to say when Street Fighter 5 first came out. They, uh, they had released a bag similar to this. It was like, uh, what was that called? Heather Gray, sweetheart, that we yeah, saw it Yeah, I would say Heather Gray. Actually. Like a Heather Gray, like a sweatshirt material gray with all black trim. And they've made a couple of modifications to the bag since then. So that's what makes this version 2. Um, the bag was on sale for about 100 bucks, so you can pick that up for that price. Uh, that's the sale price. I think regularly it is 110 Yes. So, um, and also this is the 30th anniversary uh, version of this bag as well. So that's all tied into it because I even think it says 30th anniversary on it. All right, guys, here it is. Here's the front you can see in the bag. Gorgeous. Arcade Shock style Street Fighter V Ryu Fighting Street Fighter Transporter. Black quilted. That's one of the other differences of this bag compared to version one is that it actually has quilted stitching going, you know, in like an X pattern throughout the entire bag. Oh, once we get that bag off, we're going to see it in all its glory. Ready? Yeah. Like our name's Hulk Hogan. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here is the bag. These are the backpack straps. One of the coolest things about these is that it's got the the uh, like the across the sternum buckle. Oh, so it won't fall off your shoulders. That's so key for support. As like she just said, especially and as a girl, too. it creates that tension, so it keeps the straps together and the bag nice and tight on your back instead of you having to like pull the straps forward with your hands for it to actually feel comfortable or have the straps jacked up so it feels like. You're actually wearing a turtle shell. So that's a super cool feature. Fully adjustable. Let's unclip this. I'm super excited right now. And I, I know like I can like see 30 it. 30 miles an hour. <laughs> so look at this padding right here. Oh, that is so nice. Check that out. I, I didn't even see that on the picture. I didn't see that either. That's not pictured online at all. Oh, that's going to make such a difference. Because, you know, I lugged around... Our other Street Fighter Fight Stick bag? Which one All are our other Street Fighter V Fight Stick bags? They are literally just the Street Fighter V backpacks that came out at GameStop. Where are they? When, uh, when, when the game first released. Yeah, you want to grab me mine? Yeah, show me yours. Which cool pins. 
Yeah. Let's put this down. So this has been our fight stick bags since day one. <laughs> okay. These are not padded. <laughs> These are not padded. These are just very loose backpacks. Um, probably cool to just maybe put. I don't know, maybe like, like just a PlayStation in here or something when traveling yeah. you know, to the hotel or definitely something lighter a laptop because or something. I dragged around uh, a Mad Cat's TE2 in that all weekend, and oh my goodness, was that heavy. Not the same. So you're totally going to get a lot better support from this bag, and the straps are padded. Look at the thick reinforcement in the back. It's not even two separate straps. It's all one solid that piece. That's a beautiful bag. So, I mean, this is just one side of it that, that we're looking at, yeah. which is incredible, okay? But that's the side that really matters, because that's the side that you're in contact with, you know, like, you want to be carrying nice, that around. Thick padded and quilted on the outside, you know, top handle, plus look at that, like, mesh on the inside. That's the same type of, like, breathable mesh material that's on here for the padding on the back. Well, because it can be used as a gym bag too, right? So that's important breathability. And if you look at the profile of it, you can actually see that where this back padding is, the bag itself actually bows out right here mm -hmm. to create even extra added support so that this is against your lower back. Mm -hmm. Super, super nice. What's on this side? We got a nice pocket here. Another pocket above it. And yeah, check you out. A zipper pocket above it. So here is the symbol that is on reused uh, gloves that he wears during fighting. And it's not embroidered. It's like a, um, it's like a felt material. Ooh. It's actually really, really cool. I, I thought that was going to be like stitched or embroidered, but I couldn't really tell online. I mean, love the quilting. Love, love the quilting. See the 30th anniversary. Mm-hmm tag on it all right here's also bam the front of it so we got the little now this is embroidered over here the street fighter 5 logo with the nice white v oh my god oh so this is this is velcro there bottom of the bag okay i'm not quite sure what that's for yet <laughs> side pocket which is actually it's this entire portion right here it's not the whole front but that's still a major oh. sleeve pocket that's nice for keeping like your itinerary if you're traveling so these are just like different this these top and bottom zippers are access to the top and bottom compartments of the fight bag without having to have the side open here. Oh, that's so smart and convenient. Oh. So there it is on the inside. Now this is all custom padding on the inside. You can hear all the Velcro on the inside. I can maneuver these pads any way I see fit to accommodate my arcade stick accordingly. Here is the the direction for the Hadouken. This this is silk screened on the inside. And uh, this looks like a silvery, not really like a white, but like a silvery type of uh, silk screen. I love that this zipper is the only, no, no, the, this zipper too is, is the silver with the white. And the rest are all black. Yeah, Man. it's a nice distinction. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I am in love. This is excellent. It holds its shape so well. See, look, here's quick access to the bag. And it actually kind of acts as like another compartment. Yeah, this is just whole other access to the front of it. That's awesome. So I bet like a laptop could so fit in here as like a separate portion. A, tablet, a, lap a tablet. A tablet could fit in there. Yep. So let's say, yeah, we put the tablet in there. Then in here, we're going to want to put all of our cables, mm. charger cables, headphones. You can even put that in here, too, actually. You know? Where is it? You keep my wallet in there. Look how people keep your wallet. And keep my Red Bull in there. Yeah, man. Happy? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in love. This thing is gorgeous. This is like uh, a Ghostbuster getting his uh, Proton Pack. I finally made it to the team. I'm legit. 
And I got my protons. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Proton bag. Yeah. Ready? Facial expression of me trying it on. Ready? Stoic as fuck right now. Ready? What's going on back there? <sighs> so Arcade shock and split frame. Just makes everything feel so right. Add a little Capcom Street Fighter to the mix and you cut yourself a deal. <laughs> You're <laughs> so <terrible. laughs> Well, first things first, let's grab my daily driver. Yeah, boy. You already know. If you're on this channel a lot, or you subscribe to it, or maybe you've actually liked or commented under this video. If you haven't, go back in the history and watch the unboxing of this Street Fighter V Ryu Akuma Razor Panthera Fight Stick. Ugh, this thing is godlike, okay? All right, so that, that's definitely not going to fit in there like that. So we need this a little bit wider. I don't know how to fuck with this. Okay, all right. Maybe these come out. Okay. <laughs> with authority. This is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Would you get something new? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So that's a little bit better look at the. Oh, okay. At the compartment inside. And that little like. That's a lot of space. Ledge is where your uh, joystick would go. So I I believe you're correct in that. Yeah. So I want to do this on camera so you can see it. I want it to be like out of the shot. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. That's, right that's in. the sh yeah. shizzle right there. Now show it to us this way. Can you see that? I can see that. Look how nice that fits in there. Like that. Can it go both ways so we can see the 120 volts on the outside? Oh, oh, it could. It could. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> it looks so cozy in there. So. And then you would put those side pieces like close to the edge. To like keep it from knocking around. Oh, I see you, girl. I see you. Like in here, like that, to protect the button, like that, right? That's what you're saying. Sure. And then maybe this guy actually gets stuffed in like this. That's what I meant originally, but I like what you did there. I'm improvising. I'm playing as I go. That's fine. There's no, there's no rules. It's just a bag. So that's its current configuration of padding. And I'm sure we'll continue to mess around with that. I actually do like that because the joystick's on top and not the bottom. And I feel like it'd be less likely to get hit if the joystick's at the top of the bag. All right, guys, now that we have tried the Razor Panthera arcade stick in our brand new bag, let's see if we can put our old trusty, but not rusty, Mad Cat's TE2. This is the wife's arcade stick. That's my baby. It is sexy. A couple of augments here and there, but nothing too serious. Let's see how this fits in the bag. Oh my goodness. That's never going to get old. Okay, yeah, see? It's actually kind of how it was. I just had to unvelcro one side of it. Uh, or actually, it should go in like this, right? Yes, it should. Oh, uh, see? See, now, the wife stick is actually uh, a, little a little wider. Bit. So what we're going to do... It's got a little jump in the trunk. It is Chun-Li. And now this is how the Mad Cats fits in there. Oh, perfect. Also very there. snug. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent fit. Pretty smart, guys. And then Chun Li's poking right out the top. Wrap it up. What, we going? Oh, it's my turn? Yeah? Oh, top eight? Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. I've been training for about a day. Okay, let's go.
All right, guys. Arcade stick in the bag. Let's put this thing on the old back and test it out. Let's see this thing's comfortability. Okay, first of all, I didn't check the straps. Bam. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. This is from now on going to be considered the Bobby Roode bag because this thing is nothing short of glorious. glorious. <laughs> Super comfortable. The straps, the back padding, it is literally my entire back. And it's comfortable. I don't even have the, the sternum strap in yet. Is this adjustable as well? You fucking know it is. Plug her in. Oh my god. Who am I? I'll tell you who I am. I'm someone who's prepared for the next battle. You're so cute. <laughs> How does it look? Does look, it look ridiculous? No, it looks excellent. It looks really comfy. It is super comfortable, man. It is incredible. I actually love that it's just a big rectangle. It's just a big box? Yeah. It's like the most surface area for the most support. Alright guys, we tried on the bag with the fight stick in it. It is incredibly comfortable. I highly, highly recommend picking up one of these, or for that matter, any really high quality fight stick bag for your fight stick. I mean, you spend 150 up to 300 plus dollars on your arcade stick. I mean, why wouldn't you spend, you know, up to a third of that price? About a, like I said, this is 100 bucks. Why wouldn't you spend that just to help protect what you have and what you care about so much? Especially, I mean, they're also gorgeous. Not that any is more important than the other, but you know, now that we have like the limited edition Street Fighter V stick, we really wanted to have something that um, encased it perfectly. Now that we will be traveling more to majors, we're traveling more to our locals. You know, so uh, for for the money out the box, I would say this is this is worth nothing short of a hundred dollars. I would have if I had seen this in person at a trade show. And this had uh, a buck fifty price tag on it. it. I still would have bought it and been like, "Fuck yeah, I just won," you know. So um, based on comfort alone, worth the investment. Comfort, peace of mind, traveling with your stick. Quality of the product. Yeah, the stitching on that. The, the stitching, zippers. The, the zipper quality. I was just gonna say that the zipper quality, the way everything is moved so so easily right off the bat and not. You know, cheap mm -hmm. plastic teeth. These are all metal teeth on, you can on the hear zippers. It. You can hear it. You know, so. Even just the different types of decoration, the stitching, the silk screening, like, those are all different processes that take different amounts of money and time to do. And for them to invest in multiples of those is really, really excellent. That's an excellent mile. point. The fact that every single print on this. I mean, the whole thing's quilted. Is fucking. done a different way. This is stitched. This is embroidered. That was silk screen on the inside. This is all felt. You know, mm -hmm. like each piece has a, a significant detail to it that makes it stick out from the last. So this is incredible. Like I said, guys, this came in early on a pre-order, and there are only 300 pieces of this uh, fight stick bag. Uh, if you go to arcadeshop.com, this is where I picked this up. You can pick one of these up and other art, uh, split frame fight stick bags there or you can go to splitframe.com yourself and pick up their selection of bags they have hoodies t-shirts the sanwa you know elephant mashing on the buttons they got evo hoodies all really cool stuff that you can pick up okay total total worthy purchase for a hundred bucks man i cannot believe this i don't think there's a single thing about that that i could like nitpick at i really don't i think they really like really sat down and thought about it and nailed it look at look at this little rubber holster for the zipper head to be snuck into yeah and even the tab over that side pocket to really ensure that like your things are secure yeah you, i'm sure you could tuck the zipper right into that yeah absolutely to make sure it doesn't get caught on anything or someone doesn't grab it like she said it yeah so smart yeah the craftsmanship on this is excellent like she said too this has a a, a band to it so uh, you know, a water bottle, a drink goes in there, maybe your Red Bull. Well, it's like those uh, car commercials, you know, Chevy won, you know, best in initial quality. What is initial quality? 
an initial quality out the box. <laughs> yeah, right. This this bag gets a ten. This is excellent. All day. This bag gets a ten, and if I had a larger arcade stick than this, like the Vulix style, anything that uh, the Dragon, perhaps the Kwame Dragon, then I would recommend the Shadowloo style uh, arcade stick bag. Um, there's also reviews up. Uh, of it up on YouTube that you can check out and it accommodates a much larger arcade stick in case you're interested in that. Maybe this doesn't fit what you have at home, what you're comfortable with or what you used to or what you want to travel with because maybe you spent so much money on a fucking Vulix that you want to show it off and, and who wouldn't, right? Grab yourself one. I'm so glad I did. Energy drink. Ugh. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this unboxing video. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it at any time. If you're interested in this bag, you know where to go pick it up because the link will be in the description. ArcadeShop.com, SplitFrame.com. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace! You happy? Yes, very, of course. Ah!